good evening friends i hope you are all doing well i am also fine so today i'm going to uh, show you how you can use next cloud and create your own file storage system on the cloud <clears throat> so let's get started so next cloud is an open source uh, kind of like software which helps you to set up your own cloud uh, own file sharing environment in the cloud so rather than using google cloud or maybe dropbox Microsoft 365, where you have issues with privacy and uh, other problems, you can use your own file sharing system. You can use your own file sharing network for your home or for your family, or maybe for your own office, right? So let's get started. We are going to use AWS for uh, running the application. You need a server to run the application. For that purpose, we are using AWS, but you are feel free to use other platforms as well. Like you can use DigitalOcean, you can use Linode, or you can use like uh, GCP, Azure, whatever you want, right? So, so I'm in my EC2 dashboard and let's launch a new instance. I'm going to um, give it a name here. So next cloud. And then here in the uh, OA, uh, AMI, I'm going to choose next cloud, right? In EXT, C-O-A-T. I'm going to use next cloud here. And then um, from the official marketplace, uh, let's choose the first one. This is the next, next cloud, right? I'm going to select it. So if you go to the pricing, it will say that the pricing is all for the hardware, nothing for the software, right? So cloud, next cloud, it's it's a free. There is no charge for using the software, but only charge is that the EC2, EC2 instance cost. That is exactly what we are uh, going to spend. So it's like 5.53 dollar per, per, per hour. If you calculate it on a monthly basis, it will be like multiply with uh with uh, 720 so it should be like around around uh, 38 to 40 dollars per month <laughs> but then you have the flexibility you have your own file ownership right nobody is messing around your files so let's click continue then um let's just click the continue button yeah, here it is so i choose the ami Mm. Like this. Yeah, here is the email. So uh, the instance size is T3 medium, uh, new security group, volume 8 gigs. Now volume, um, because it's your file storage, so you should use it like 40 gigs. <clears throat> so that's that. And then all other things are okay. So uh, you need to have a key pair, create a key pair, which is next cloud. Create a key pair. Okay, launch the instance. This will take time, I think two or three minutes. So let's pause the video for a minute. Okay, so we are back. Uh, it seems it's running, but status check is initializing. So let's go to the details. This is our next cloud instance. It's T3 medium. It has an IP address, but it doesn't have an elastic IP. So what I have to do is like I need to associate an elastic IP. I click the elastic IP, click associate and allocate, click on the allocate button. And then associate this elastic IP with an instance.
let's refresh this. Okay, so <clears throat> my instance is running now. What I have to do is let's go to the um, security tab. Here you see we have opened port 8080. These security <clears throat> rules are automatically created by Nextcloud. So uh, this is the port that the application is running. What you have to do is like uh, copy the IP address and then go for port 8080. What other ports are there? Just a moment. Let's try to run it and port 8080. Yeah, here it is. So um, if you got that error that it is not allowing you for HTTP, then just add an HTTPS in front of it. So um, let's go next cloud AI setup. Copy this password. This is the password. Open. I paste the password here. Okay, next cloud AOI version 1.7.1. A master container update is required. So you need to update the master container. So just click update master container. This will take some time. Uh, it is running all the containers, updating it, and uh, setting up all those different configurations. So you have to wait around two or three minutes for this. OK. Now what I'm to do is um, I need to um, create a subdomain here. So let's click files, attribute.xyz and then copy the instance IP. And save. Okay. Then I'm going to give the URL here files dot dot xyz submit domain install nextcloud twenty eight if I check nextcloud twenty seven get installed I want to install nextcloud twenty eight so let's install it now uh, what are the services do you want to need so first of all clam api this is an antivirus if you need any antivirus then you can check it I don't need at this moment. Then Collabora Nextcloud Office, which is for the files, PDF sharing, etc. Um, then full text search. This requires one GB of additional RAM. Maybe I don't need that at this moment. Imaginary uh, Nextcloud talk. That's okay. Uh, Nextcloud talk recording server. I don't need that. And Docker socket proxy. Okay. Let's keep as it is the default one. Time zone, uh, this is Europe Berlin because this is a, a Germany company, Nextcloud. 
if you go here, then you will see that it is uh, some sort of like about us. That is, yeah, GmbH. That is, it's a German company. So, uh, what we have to do is, um, Asia, Dhaka. Let's see if I can. Okay, so I change the time zone, then let's start it. Yeah, it's taking some time. Hmm. Usually it doesn't take that much. Let me refresh it. Let's see what happens here. Not sure what is happening here, but let's copy again. Okay, good. So uh, here you see all our containers status. So green is running and the yellow is starting. So the Redis container running, Collabora running, talk running, imaginary running. Only thing is that Linux Cloud main container, it's starting, notify push starting, Apache is starting. You just need to wait a few more minutes for this. So I can pause the video. When this is started, I will start recording again. Okay, it took around five minutes, but um, that's okay. So all those containers are now running except notify, but that's fine. What we see is that 
open your next cloud. If you click this, it will open a new tab. And there we are going to copy this password. And then the username is admin. I'm going to username admin and password login. Wow. So basically that is it. We have successfully created a new um, file sharing system for my own. <laughs> I can use it for my family. I can use it for my uh, office or any purposes. Very like if my, if I am very concerned about my security, privacy, um, I don't want to see ads, etc. Then I think this is a very nice way. So if I click here in the photos, then I will see. So this is an open source tool. That means you can use add many users as, as you want. There is no limitation on users because you control everything, right? So um, there is no price. Only thing that is you have to pay price is that the um the, the infrastructure that is using that means the ec2 cost the ebs cost like the if you check on the storage this is the cost actually you have to pay otherwise there is no limit you can use invite all your office team members you can invite all your home family members relatives all of this into this file sharing cloud so i can add new users let's see if you go to the dashboard I should be able to add new users. So set weather for the location. I am going to set um, Dhaka. Let's see. Is there something? Yeah, here it is. So. This is this is the one. This is my location. This is talk. That means um, mm -hmm. uh, how can I add new users? Okay, users. Here it is. It seems a bit slow because two things. One, the my internet may be slow. Another thing is that maybe the my such instance. I had to upgrade it to a better one, but it's up to you. Uh, I can create groups, I can create users, let's create a user. So employee, display name, so employee one. So let's say I wanted to set a new account for my employee. So, mm -hmm. And the employee. So before quota, I can set even quotas. So let's say five GB. Adding user. Wow, that's that's really good. So you can even create quotas, and then what we can do: calendar, notes, date, taxes. Even we have talk. What is talk? It's some sort of like chat system, maybe. Okay, join a conversation or start a new one. Good. Again, add new people. Okay, okay, good. So this is for chatting. So internal chatting between your team members. That's very good. Then we have um, files. Uh, we can save our secret files, share between our team members. 
So let me upload a file and then share with your team members. For example, this is a file, right? And I wanted to share it. Oh, this is this is good. It can actually show the PDF file. Mm -hmm. If I have any option to download, delete, open sidebar full screen. Okay. Okay, it can open the PDF. That's good. Let's close it. And I wanted to uh, share it. Oh, these are the sharing options. Okay, so I can share with a link. I can share with uh, others, internal link. or even sharing with the people. Can edit. Share with like, uh, employee one. Oh, that's good. And now editing, save shares. So now I can see, uh, I can share between my employees these files. This is can edit and this may be I can set it to view only. So you can only view. Custom permissions. Oh, this is custom permission. Allow download. Maybe I don't even I can set an expiration. So it will expire after December 31st. So either he has to view it, after that he cannot view. That's good. Seems like there's a lot of options here. Mm, this is kind of like internal, your internal Google Drive. <laughs> so you can uh, create files, save your office files here, and then share between your team members. Good. So that's it for today. I hope you like this video. And uh, if you are uh, interested to, to set up a secure, private uh, file sharing system, then you can use Next. Next cloud, it is open source and it's free. It doesn't cost you any money. Only thing that you have to pay is that the infrastructure cost. That means the EC2 instance and the EBS volume cost. That being said, I hope you like this video. If you like, please uh, share with your friends and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you, everyone. Allah Hafiz. As-salamu alaykum.